What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again back with the Bank of the Day, guys. And we are outside with it today with a very special vid, man. You guys know that I've done a couple of reviews on the Springfield Prodigy. This is, of course, that subpar $1,000 2011 from Springfield Armory. And I wanted to compare a $1,000 2011 versus a $7,000 2011. Let's get it. So today, guys, we have two guns in the building, the $1,000 2011 and the $7,000 2011 Springfield Armory and Atlas Gunworks. We'll be definitely doing a full-on in-depth review on this bad boy right here, so stay tuned for that down the pipeline. And I wanted to basically see the main differences, what you get when spending money more and more, you know? Does the $1,000 hold up to the $7,000? Is the $7,000, that $6,000 difference, do you actually feel something different when it comes to that. And when it comes to the Atlas Gunworks in general, they have been well known for their pretty much made to order, hand fitted 2011s where something like the Springfield Prodigy more so built off of a assembly line of some sorts. When it comes to the 2011, the Atlas in my opinion is at the top tier above even Staccato. So let's go ahead and uh, break this one down and let's get straight to it. Starting off with the $1,000 Prodigy. All right, y'all, we're gonna try out this. I'm gonna see how I do with the Shooters Global. It's my first time running one of these. We're gonna do a build drill. So, six shots. Let's try this out, man. Y'all ready? Let me get a little bit closer. I'm about, uh, let me just show you how far away I am, by the way, too, because I just don't want y'all to think, look, I'm out there. I'm I'm not good with my uh, yardage and all that, but I ain't no seven yards. Maybe, nah, this ain't no damn seven yards. Ain't no way to seven yards. All right, let's try this out. That was horrible. I don't even want to show y'all that. Supposed to do one, two, three, four, five. I honestly, the, my sight might be off a little bit, and it looks like it's off a little bit. Honestly, I'm about to bring it in. All right, I'm, I'm, I think I've done enough far away. Let me get my seven yards in, and let me get my build drill in, so that I can really do what I want to do. And of course, they got this little integrated comp barrel, but at the same time, it's a weight. So it acts as a weight to give more weight to the gun for less recoil, of course. Overall, this is a very hefty size pistol. Competition pistol, that is, of course, as well. So this ain't no uh, lightweight baby at all. And just cause I can, let's run one more, okay? Feel free to let me know what I can do to improve besides dry firing, of course, at home, which I have the option to do as well. Let's keep it going, all right? And just because, let's just, Run that build drill one more time, guys. Let's run it one more time, all right, for old time's sake, all right? The grip is way bigger than the Prodigy, so getting the grip is a little bit more difficult for me because I'm, not, just not, I'm just not used to it. 2.94, hey, practice. You're talking about practice? All right. I always kick my leg up. I ain't gonna lie, I just, I got a fear of like, you know, I don't know the holster game. You know, I gotta make sure I get rid of that little fear in my heart. All right, 2.94 is what we got. Let's see if we can beat it, Prodigy. All right, I try to push to beat that. I push to beat that, right? 2.55. Now, I did beat it by point, what, point 0.4, but the accuracy took a hit. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can't count that. That's on the line, bro. That's like a three-point shot. That ain't a three-pointer, unfortunately. So we got two Bs and I'm about two Cs. So where's it? Where is B on here? Is there a B section? I mean, it's A C D. I think, where's the B at? Is there a B at all in this thing? We got two Cs and uh, two two Charlies and four Alphas. But what I do want to try is I want to try from back there. 
with the Erebus. I want to shoot straight dome that A. I want that A slot. So we're going to try that right now. All right, y'all. See y'all on the other side. I, uh, that first shot caught me off guard, that trigger. So there was less anticipation of recoil, which sometimes is actually good because the anticipation of recoil can mess your shot up. So I don't know which one that was, but and it, it might've been this one in reality. We got one, two, three, and then four. I can't tell. One, two, I, I'm guessing, yeah. I must've been off on that one. I must've like missed it on one of them. That's good enough for me to let me know how good this goddamn gun is. It is what it is, you feel what I'm saying? We'll be doing a full on in-depth review on this Airbus very soon, as well as a gear update on the Prodigy, cause look, you're not worth that much. You're, I mean, you're par, but you, you do a good job. Like you are still respect. I, I, I have total respect for you. Springfield Prodigy, but man, you, you just a different animal for real. So we finally made it back to the crib and I wanted to give you guys a wrap up of my thoughts and opinions on the $1,000 2011 versus the $7,000 2011. And let me just state this off the rip because I know the comment section will say something if I don't, but the Prodigy is coming in at around $1,400 to $1,600 depending on where you get it. There's really not a $1,000 flat, you know, 2011 out there, at least as far as I know. Now I do know that other companies out there are bringing in 2011s like European American Armory. They just dropped their 2011 whip Witness or the Witness 2011. There's the Platypus. I believe there's also Oracle Arms has dropped one as well. So we have a lot of 2011 double stack 1911 pistols. That's a lot of words coming in, into the forefront. And really all this really started with Staccato with their initial 2011 that dropped. I don't even know initially when, so forgive me. But with that being said, you have a lot of options. And I wanted to show you guys something on that low end. And when I say low, I'm not saying cheap, but the low end price of a 2011 towards the high in price of a 2011. And with that being said, when it comes to the top tier, top dog, you know, top priced out 2011, you're gonna get this with Atlas Gunworks. And we're gonna do a full on review on this product very soon. I mean, you got Nighthawk, you got Staccato, but really when it comes to built to order, I feel like Atlas is doing the job. It is what it is. A Staccato definitely coming in in that $2,000, $3,000 price range, a real premium 2011. Some people will say it's the best on the market. It is though prepared, you know, like on an assembly line of some sorts. Whereas the Atlas is made by hand for order for the person that is going out to, you know, in the market. And with that being said, you're gonna be paying that $7,000 premium price point along with it. Everything is like hand fitted. Everything is just smooth butter, the action, the trigger, all that you could feel the difference between the two. Not to say that the Prodigy does not bring anything to the table. It shoots phenomenally, it does what it needs to do, and it's a very solid price point for a 2011. Like you're getting the bang for the buck. I've had to send this gun in before uh, and get it fixed. It got fixed and it shoots flawlessly now at the end of the day. I love it, it's fun, it's amazing. And for a 2011, I feel like you get the bang for the buck. But 
the Atlas is like a Mercedes at the end of the day. When you get that Mercedes car, I would say like AMGs, you guys can lift that hood up, you feel me? And you can see the, the, the signature of the person that put the car together. It's kind of like that when you come with the Atlas. You're getting that premium package, made to order, hand fitted by an individual out there just for you. The trigger, the slide, all that, phenomenal. Uh, for the Prodigy as well, you know, you're getting all that as well. I love shooting these. I definitely want to do a full on review on this and an update on this one. I love shooting these guns. They're very, very fun to shoot and uh, I'm looking forward to more. But I wanted to give you guys that kind of comparison, give you that review, YouTube, we're just giving a review of how these both are demonstrated when shooting them. We got to use our words a little bit better now because YouTube likes to throw things out there and take things the wrong way. However, with that being said, I'm not going to tell you which one to choose. That's up to you and your pockets. But I wanted to show you the difference between the 1,000 and the 7,000. And I wanted to just bring you guys along with the ride for the vlog and shooting and all that. I had fun. So let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all as always. And I'm going to see y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace.